Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to a bit of a different uh, episode of Persona. We're not actually live. We're on a uh, tier list maker. And, you know, I figured um, it might be a while until I can uh, live stream again. So I decided to make this quick little... Uh, a character ranking as of episode 4 of my Persona 3 Reload playthrough. So, let's um, have this D tier actually be don't know slash don't remember. And you know, um, if I don't know a character, you know, maybe I'll like them in the future. But most likely I just don't have them unlocked or I haven't gotten to the story uh, to which they are in So who here in particular can we put here? I No clue who this guy is. Maybe he, I, we've met him, but I don't remember um, No clue zero idea we got um, What else have we got I think this uh, I think we know this guy um, this guy, we don't know. We've never seen him. Nor do we know where to find him. Okay, I think everyone else I remember, kind of. I don't I don't remember this guy. We probably saw him last episode and I just don't remember. Okay, let's go through these characters one by one. I mean, <laughs> if there's a better character to start with, uh, please let me know. Because we are going to make, whoops, let me make a add row above. And we'll call this uh, the favorites tier. And we'll make it uh, steel gray. So we got Aegis up here. I guess whatever you want to call her. I'm calling her Aegis. I mean, she's just peak character design. Has the best dialogue. Has the best combat. Has the... The best qualities of a romantic partner, you know, even though I haven't done any romancing, nor have I unlocked our confidant, or arcana, but whatever, the social link. I mean, she's just peak character design, what can I say? Okay, then we got Aki, Akihiko, Akihiko Sonata, he's, um, he's pretty good, he's a pretty good character. I think we'll put him, uh, maybe we'll move in, in S tier, but I, he's pretty high in the A tier at the very least. If I had to, like, separate A tier, he'd be, like, A+. plus. Okay, this chick, I think, isn't she the lady who's in charge of the antique store? I think she has, uh, I, I would like her design to be a, a, a little more unique. But at the very least, um, she seems pretty useful. She seems pretty helpful. Uh, and I'd like to uh, visit the antique store more often. So we'll put her in B tier. She has a lot of potential to grow. Maybe I'll revisit this tier list uh, at the end of this series. Okay, we got Beeb next. I... I mean, you know, I talked about Aegis having good, uh, good dialogue. He's a close second, honestly. I don't like his design that much. I don't really like doing sewing with him either, but, I mean, he's a great character to hang out with. Uh, genuinely funny. Genuinely makes me want to read the dialogue. And if you guys have been watching my playthrough, you know I don't like reading the dialogue. The old people are uh, also... Hold on, are both the old people here or just a dude? Um, yeah, I think we just got the dude. But don't be dismayed, the, the lady is included as well. I think uh, another S tier, easily S tier people. You know, it's not because... Uh, I think their story is that compelling, or their design. I, I like their design, but I think it's, um... 
I, I think it's the... Um, ease of uh, interest. You know, it's very easy to take an interest in their story. I think that's what uh, compels me to talk to them and to enjoy them in the game. Because remember, I'm, I'm ranking uh, all the characters in the game based on how much I like them in the game, you know. Moving on to this chick, I have no idea what her name is, so you know, I would think, you would think I put her in the don't know, don't remember. But she's a part of uh, this guy's, hold on, let me group them together. Let me group them in the front. This guy and I think this guy, I think they're like, uh, we saw them last episode. Maybe the, ep I think your last episode, and uh, we might have seen them the episode before. So let's tackle them all at once. This guy, I don't really have an opinion of, but he has a pretty interesting design. It's a very, very unique design. So I don't know a lot about him, but he's got a cool design. This chick, I, I think her design is also good. We'll put him a little bit above the dude. I think she's got a cool looking design, but still don't know a lot about her, but, uh, you know. Uh... I don't like this guy's design. You know, he's like the worst out of these three. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I, I don't think that's a, a hot take. Okay, forehead girl? I don't like her at all. I, she's got like uh, BPD. You know, if you ask her what that means, she might say a uh, beautiful princess disorder, but don't be fooled. Uh, borderline personality disorder. Well, the first time I talked to her, I knew she was bad news. So... I, you know, I have the same song on repeat. I thought it'd be a little uh, longer, but it'll do, it'll do. It, uh, this is a nice low budget episode. I don't need to edit, I don't need to, you know, it's like my live streams, but it's only gonna be like 10, 15 minutes long. Liz? Liz? Liz can go like A minus tier. She's like nowhere near Akihiko, let it be known. But uh, Liz does have her enjoyable moments. Uh, even if it's asking me to waste money, you know. Uh, Fuka, uh, I, I think, you know, I have a pretty good impression of her. And I don't really feel anything towards her. I know, like, you know, I, it's not like I hate her. It's not like I take much interest in what she's doing or what she has to say or... Even her design, you know, I, I don't have a negative opinion about anything regarding her, but um, at times it's the lack of likability that she has that makes it uh, a little easy to, uh, that makes it easy to put her in something like the B tier category uh, based on what, what I know so far. Is this the student council president guy? I don't like talking with him, I'm gonna be honest, but he's above these guys for sure. I forgot his name. Oh well. The dude in charge of C's? I think that's what he is, right? Am I reading the story correctly, lads? Uh, he is, you know, to do, does anyone have an opinion on him? He's like the same thing with Fuka. Well, what do I care? I think uh, he's a bit below Fuka. Because I think he didn't have as much as a glow up between uh, Persona 3 and Persona 3 Reload. I think Fuka is much better in this game than she was in Reload. Or in uh, Persona 3 Original, the 2008. Junpei Iori. I think, I honestly think he's like equal tier to, to Aki, uh, but only because he likes baseball, and I, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of baseball as a cultural medium. You know, I, I don't watch baseball, I don't play baseball, I used to play baseball, but I like it as a cultural medium. I think like, uh, things like, uh, three strikes and you're out, I think like that's such a ingrained thing for something that people don't normally care about. Like, you ask them, like, you ask, like, the average person, hey, what's your opinion on baseball? It's like, 
negative. I, you know, but I personally like baseball. I, I, I like how it's ingrained in American culture and Japanese culture as well. You know, some of my uh, favorite MLB stars come from uh, Nihon, as Beeb would say. Next off to Miyamoto, honestly, I l he's like, you know when you're playing Pokemon? Like, new Pokemon region. And you're on Route 1, and you're like, you encounter like a bug, and a, and a bird, and a dog, or a cat, or a, a rat, or a rodent, whatever. That's Miyamoto. You know, I encountered him at the beginning of the game, thought, you know, whatever, I'll keep him in my circle. I found him interesting enough, but, you know, the more I find better people to talk to, like Beeb over here, and the old guy, it's like he really loses a lot of his luster. So, I'm gonna put him, uh, in the A tier. I, I feel like, you know, uh... I, I don't hate any of these characters. I'd say, like, the cutoff between, like, uh, positive and negative opinion is, like, B-tier. Like, B-tier characters I don't really have an opinion of. And then C-tier characters I don't really like. And then A-tier characters I like will say S-tier characters. I love interacting with them. And then, I mean, no one else is going here, obviously. K, K, K. Uh, who's this guy? I can't remember at the moment. You know, sorry, I can't remember. I think it, it would be unfair to rate Ken and uh, the dog at, at this point. Uh, they would just go in like B tier. You know, I I, I know Ken and uh, what's the dog's name? Kotamaru. I can't remember right now. Sorry guys. But I I think it's only fair to put them in this tier at the moment, just because. Uh, We've had so little interaction with them that judging them in this game and not based on what I know from other games and the original Persona, Persona 3, obviously, uh, I think it, it would be unfair to rank them. Okay. Uh, why can't I remember who this guy is? Is this Kenji? Is this the guy who I have ignored since day one? Since day two, rather. I suppose we did spend a... Uh, time with him day one. Okay, then we got Maiko. I don't like Maiko. Uh, I'll sort the tiers uh, after I place uh, Yuko. Okay, Maya. Maya, I have like a slight negative opinion towards, so we'll put her at the top of C tier. You know, why don't I like Maya? Um, I... Uh, I'll tell a little story. You know, I... I don't like... Uh, going in like uh, online games and trying to make friends you know I'm not I don't I don't like uh, those uh, uh, relationships formed over the internet I I, I feel like I kind of missed that boat that uh, that has set sail for me we got Mitsuru next Mitsuru is okay Mitsuru is probably above Elizabeth. I'm pr I'm pretty happy putting her above Liz. Her combat skills are pretty good. Um, her dialogue options are pretty good. She's like an overall good character, and overall like, you know, a lot of A's, maybe some like B tier qualities. But no S tier qualities. That's that's my main thing with Mitsuru. I don't really like her design. I think her persona is probably the coolest design aspect about her. And um, the urgy, I just got reminded. Her the urgy animation seems a, a little weak to me compared to everyone else's. Uh, Let's finish off the party real quick. Uh, this guy, you know, I know he's a party member, but we, uh, well, he's in the same boat as Ken and Konamaru. That's not the dog's name, is it? I can't remember. Uh, let's finish off the party real quick. Uh, me? I'm the greatest. <laughs> what kind of question is that? No, but, uh, in reality... I think the main 
Persona guy is, like, pretty average. I have, like, a, a pretty positive opinion about him, though. I think he makes... He, like, I would, I, I can't, I couldn't imagine Persona 3 having uh, any other video video game protagonist. Like, you know, I, that's something I've never thought of before. It's like, uh, how well would uh, Link do in, like, a, a Mario game? It's like, you know, that's a little weird thing to think. But I think, uh... When comparing main characters for JRPGs, maybe it's a reasonable argument to make that if the main character is replaceable with a uh, different character in the same series, let's say, you know, how good is that main character really? But I don't think the main character in this game is uh, that replaceable. Um, let's say if you took one of the other Maga 10 games, Shin Megami Tensei 5, or 3 Nocturne, or Persona 4, or Persona 5, or Persona 2, whatever. I don't think it would really fulfill the same vibe that is matched with uh, this protagonist in this particular game. That was so prolific, which leads us to the unusual monk, <laughs> who is an incredible, incredible, incredible character. I mean, he says all the wrong things. And you know, it, it, it's easy for, like, someone to ask simple questions and give the wrong answer. But to, to ask uh, profound questions and receive the wrong answer, I think is much more telling of what can be learned and what can be valued by uh, interactions between characters. So, you know, li listening to this guy's dialogue, I think it's just the funniest thing, him giving me such awful advice when I'm such a young kid and he's such an old man. And that sort of interaction, I think, is so interesting compared to a lot of these, wherein you normally just have your friends from high school, you know or elementary school even but uh yeah i think that that's my take he's like e i think easily my second favorite character uh, right next to aegis of course we got pharos i don't really have an opinion on him and maybe i'll have a better opinion of him in the future We'll leave it at that, but my interactions with him so far are pretty underwhelming, I'm going to be honest. Who's this guy? Can't remember at the moment. Uh, I'll be sure to rank these guys first when I'm uh, redoing this. We got the teacher. Where's the other teachers? The homeroom teacher. She said something funny at one point, I think. She's... she's. I've got a positive opinion about her. I think I laughed at one of her dialogue quips. That's all I can really say about her. Then we got... Uh, I, You know, I think... Um, let's say... Let's say... This list is balanced. Let's say there's some sort of mantra... Some sort of chi that you can feel from this list... It is currently balanced. And let's just say it is. These two characters will keep it balanced because Yukari is my least favorite character, least favorite female character by a long shot. I hate every single piece of dialogue that comes out of this girl's mouth. It's just her yapping. It's just her bullying Junpei. It's just her getting on my nerves. And, you know, is that a necessarily a bad thing? No, no, not at all. I think it, uh, every game should have a character that you hate. Uh, otherwise, it's like, you know, I'm going to have a top-heavy list. And, you know, I don't have a top-heavy list, but for the most part, I don't, uh, I don't dislike any of these characters. 
I think, you know, some of them are ugly or some of them are annoying or uh, some of them are a bit weird in their design or in their actions. So I think it's only appropriate that Yukari gets her own uh, tier. Oops, what color was this before? Oh, uh, goodness me. Green? Yellow? Yellow. She gets her own tier, and uh, typically when I do tier lists, I make uh, my least favorite tier this like black ashy color, and I call it uh, Ash Soot. And Ash Soot is like uh, that like uh, that dust that you get from like burning stuff. That like uh, you know soot. That's a word. So she's, she, I, I do this in most of my tier lists where I have like a strong opinion about a particular character. And she takes the place of uh, Ash Soot tier. And you know, I, I should have left the, um, uh, Yuko probably goes here. Behind the old people. About in front of Beep. Uh, let me just sort this real quick. I'll uh, only be a minute. I went way over the time I wanted to allocate for myself. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. Uh, I, I, w I was sorting these as I go. Okay, this tier, I think I have the best opinion on this chick. Uh, Fuka is going down the escalator currently. Okay, okay. B tier is sorted. Um... Okay. Um, and this tier doesn't really matter. I, I don't have an opinion. Let's just say I, I can't have an opinion on these guys. So, that's going to be it. Let me, uh... Let me take a, a zoomed out shot. Let me uh, save it and then... Uh, I don't know how to put a blur effect over images. Uh, I'll figure it out. Okay, if you enjoyed this tier list, um, leave a like. I might do more tier lists. They're pretty low effort. And I, I like doing tier lists. I genuinely uh, do these on my free time. Whether it be, like, I, you see, I have an account on Tier List Maker. So, yeah. Uh, leave a like, uh, and I'll do more of these for maybe different games. But I'll definitely uh, update this with these characters once I either figure out who they are. Like, this guy I'm sure we've seen. Or maybe this guy, too. And I know we've seen uh, uh, Shigeru. That's his name, right? I actually, I'm pretty sure I know his name. But I, I think it'd be unfair to judge him. So yeah, please leave a like. I'm I'm just gonna keep saying it, aren't I? Okay, GG.